Welcome to the doll's room, where every day is a disco party. Oh, it's all. It's all. Okay, so today I'm going to be unpacking Zoe. Zoe was originally a Dow Tweety. I have two Dow Tweeties and I made a review video about them, so I'll put the link to that below. Um, I have her on an Obitsu 23 centimeter, and she has a lot of beautiful movement because of that. I had actually forgotten that I had her in this short blonde bob wig. I actually forgot that I had this wig. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be taking it off of her because I want to give her a different look. And then um, it'll be fun to see who gets that wig at another time. It's a nice surprise every now and then to get a second girl in these boxes. A lot of times it's ones that I bought used so they didn't have a box of their own. And I had no idea who was going to be unpacked with Zoe today, but it happens to be my Maya, who is a Dal Risa Rock. And she is long sold out, so you you have to look for her on the secondary market, but she is divine and I was lucky enough to get her full stock and in really good condition. I, if you like dowels, I would definitely recommend her for a dowel collector's collection. I will be giving her her own review soon so that you can see her original stock and um, some of my modifications. Okay, so the fun part, the dolly wardrobe, trying to pick out an outfit. I have um, the clothes in various locations, but I always gravitate back to the hanging wardrobe because I am just so charmed by these little hangers and being able to see everything clearly makes a huge difference. Um, they have so much more to choose from than I ever do or ever would in my own closet. But then at the same time, I don't think any of these outfits would suit me. <laughs> I might be just a little bit too old for them. Okay, so I've been wanting to use this little orange mod dress for a while. We'll use that. And then um, I immediately plucked this little bohemian dress out for Maya. I had made it, or uh, yeah, I made it recently. Um, but the girl that was wearing it, I changed her outfit, so so now it's available. So trying to pick out shoes. Um, there's a lot to choose from, and at the same time, only certain things go with certain things. So these little shoes are not a perfect match for this dress, but I will talk more about why I paired these together when I dress Maya. Okay, so my shoes have two layers, and if I slide this first panel away, oh, that enormous clod hopper got stuck. <laughs> it's a, it's actually a really fun pair of shoes. Um, I haven't found anyone to wear them yet, and I also want to modify the straps a little bit because they are way too difficult to use. But I peeked back here specifically because I wanted to get a pair of boots out. Um, and that higher shelf in the back is my boot storage. Okay, so these are my choices, the two things that will go together, and now stockings. This is usually pretty fun, picking them out, but um, I always seem to feel like the one that I want is already being used by another doll, and I just wish that I, um, had multiples of each of these colors, but sucks really. Um, they're not cheap, and I can't blame the makers because I've tried making them and they are so difficult to make. Um, but after looking through all these options, I ended up going with the very crazy bright green. 
to match the orange dress. And I stayed pretty conservative for the bohemian outfit. Ito. <laughs> Ito came to visit and uh, he didn't know that there was a camera rolling. But I don't think he would care. He's not particularly a shy fellow. Okay, so dressing her, um, it's a pretty intense color combination, the dress and the socks, but I think this dress makes me think of autumn, and I'm not ready for it to be autumn yet, um, so I thought the green would give it a splash of summer. Um, and Ito, he's sort of in front of the camera, but you can still see what I'm doing. I almost always remove their hands for dressing them. Even if I can get them through the sleeve, it's just, it makes it a lot easier. And the boots slid on really easily. They're originally from Dal Risa's stock. So for my bald girl, oh, because I had taken off the blonde bob wig, I'm sure you noticed. I um, went into the wig drawer to try to pick something and I gravitate towards auburn colors for her because she originally was a carrot headed girl but this I thought could work. I think that wig and that dress go well together in terms of era. Um, but once I tried this curly blonde, uh, that's what I decided to go with. It's one that I've never tried on her. She has worn many different wigs and I think she's amazingly versatile, but I love this curly blonde wig on her. Finally, this big box is where I keep a lot of my ribbons and bows and hair accessories. And I knew that I had this um, piece of orange ribbon, which matches the dress really well. So, um, trying to get it on her head without the Velcro sticking to everything is a bit of a project. And I think I'm gonna try to put a lot of them, um, or put elastic bands on a lot of my ribbons. I received some hair pieces from an Etsy shop called Audrey Clara Katie, and uh, that's what she did with her hair pieces. And it makes it infinitely easier to get them on and to get them to stay. But I felt committed to getting this ribbon on her head <laughs> because I love how it looks with this dress, so... Okay, so here she is, all put together. I am loving this wig on her. Um, I think it brings out the color in her eyes. This is where I keep my stands, and I, I actually haven't taken all the stands out of my boxes because I used to never use them. Um, the way that I had my shelves holding on like a cigar, but the way that I had my shelves before, I would just balance or lean my girls back against the wall. But these cubbies are, are deeper, and if I want my girls to be on the edge, and I, if I don't want them to fall on their face, <laughs> I, I've been using these stands a lot more. So here she is, I put her with Lula that I had dressed before, she actually also has a video. And then with gorgeous Becca, I did not do a video about, about dressing her, um, but I don't think she has a review video yet, so maybe I'll talk about that when I do her review video. But I am loving putting um, three, three at a time in these cubbies. They seem, it seems like a really great number. I really don't ever want my collection to be one in front of the other where you can't, where you can't even see their faces. I think it's, I think it's insulting. <laughs> and Ito, in front of the camera, all again. So I was wanting to see how it looked uh, just barefoot because I do, I do want it to look bohemian and I think stockings are a little bit counter indicative <laughs> but it looks better on her uh, non-human legs I think to have these stockings. 
So the reason I chose these shoes for this dress is I made this dress out of an old skirt that I wore when I was in high school and when I was going through my bohemian phase and I had a pair of shoes that were almost exactly like this. So putting this outfit together is just a, a little blast, blast of the past for me. And I was trying to decide where to place her. I've got my cubbies, I've got kind of themes of scenes going. I thought maybe she would look good with these three girls, or these two girls. Um, and she was a little bit too pale because the two girls there, you can't see it in the light, um, but they are drawn or rather artist painted. So, Dalrisa, as gorgeous as she is, her factory uh, stock face-up just looked too pale next to that. I don't have a theme yet for this cubby, but I think maybe a 1960s era could be what I go towards. Dal Sakura, um, I have named her Sophia. She has a beehive hairdo. And then, of course, Maya's bohemian look could be a late 60s, early 70s. And then I have this trio together. This cubby is somewhat of a candy lamp theme. Down here is my apple dress, it, um, apple dress theme cubby. And I will be doing a full tour of these when, maybe when I have finished unpacking everybody. Um, but I hope you enjoy these few videos of dressing them as I unpack them. I haven't had the patience to do it for each of them, obviously. I think it would take me way too long to ever get through unpacking. But let me know if there are any other videos that you would like to see. Um, any details that you would like a close-up of, and thanks for watching.